Greetings everyone, I'm Zijang. This is a book review video of the novel Journey to the Center of the Earth. This video is presented by five of us, students of University Malaysia Sabah Laba International Campus, who are taking the course UB00302 Reading and Writing. Journey to the Center of the Earth is written by Jules Verne and was published in 1871. The genre of this novel is adventure and science fiction. The place of the story is in Iceland. This story is about a scientific expedition of Axel and Professor Lidenbrook to find the Earth Center. They set out on the journey together learning about the teamwork and bravely along the way. The story begins with Professor Leidenbrock and Axel discovered an instruction to reach the Earth Center from a faded piece of parchment. Then, Axel and Professor Leidenbrock follow the instructions and travel to the journey starting point in Iceland, Sneefall. They hired Hans Belk, to be their expedition guide. They found the entrance mentioned in the parchment, but later they walked into the wrong route. They almost called off their expedition due to the water supply shortage. Axel also wanders away from the team, but fortunately Hans saved him back. They set across the underground sea. Their raft was slammed by a storm and drove them to the southern coast. They witnessed a battle of prehistoric sea creatures and found fossilized bones of hundreds of extinct species. In the final stage, they exploded a tunnel blocker which might be a gateway to the earth center but it created a hole that pulls the sea and the raft inside. The raft floats into a volcanic shelf as an eruption begins. The eruption carries the explorers back to the surface. They were confused that they entered the earth from the Iceland, but came up from the Mediterranean. Even though they didn't manage to reach the earth center, their discoveries became a consolation in the idea that other people will build upon their discoveries. In the end of the story, Axel writes a first-hand account of the expedition with the title Journey to the Center of the Earth. Hi, I'm Fang Jiahui. There are three main characters in this story, which are Axel Lindenbrock, Professor Otto Lindenbrock, and Hans Berg. The first main character is Axel Lindenbrock. He is Professor Lindenbrock's assistant and nephew. He is a passionate student with a particularly strong fascination with geology. Second main character is Professor Otto Lidenbrock. He is a professor of geology and mineralogy at the University of Heidelberg in Germany. He is stubborn and headstrong. Third main character is Hans Berg. He was hired by Professor Lidenbrock in Iceland to guide the expedition. He is physically strong, dependable, and helpful. Among these characters, Hans Berg is our favorite character because he does not react to frustration and is a skillful person. He devotes his energy to keep everyone warm and safe. Hi, I am Chong Jia Xin. The character that we can resonate with is XL Lidenbrock. XL is still a young adult like us. XL gains experience through challenges. Along the journey, XL has to confront his deficit. In order to live an active and fulfilling life, the man learns to overcome his fears. As XL becomes a more passionate follower of the path at the end, we can relate to some of the character's experiences. For instance, as a youth, there are so many unknown challenges we have to face as we enter higher education as well as step into society. Hi, 
I am Veronica. This book is fantastic. The storyline is fast-paced, interesting, and unique. When we were reading this book, it was quite easy for us to picture the scenes described in the novel. As a matter of fact, this book is outstanding because it was written in 1864 and it was difficult to imagine a journey to the center of the earth. Therefore, this book is truly remarkable. As a result, we can understand how far ahead of his time, Jules Burns was in his understanding of science. And Gwendolyn. Our most favorite part of the book is when the explorers go on voyage on a self-made raft in the subterranean ocean during a storm. This scene depicts the bravery of explorers as they face immense difficulties on their path to their destination. We would like to recommend this book to people who love science fiction and adventure and are interested in geology. Besides, this book contains many moral values such as teamwork, determination, and courage. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.